Ezekiel, chapter 21, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Set a man, set my face toward Jerusalem, and drop the word towards the holy places and the prophecies against the land of Israel. And say to the land of Israel, This says the Lord, Behold, I'm against thee. The Most High against uh, two thirds of his people, man. He against y'all, man. Drop the word towards the holy places and the prophecies. Prophesied against the land of Israel. Say to the land of Israel, This says the Lord, Behold, I am against thee, and will draw forth my sword out of his sleep, and cut off from them the righteous and the wicked. See, now I will cut off from the righteous and the wicked, therefore shall my sword go forth out of his sleep against all flesh, from the south to the north, that all flesh may know that I, the Lord, have drawn forth my sword out of himself, and shall not return anymore. They're going to be a whole lot of slain in America. The Lord brings that death and destruction, boy. It's coming. It can't come soon enough. We got, they got a little taste, bro. They, that little Houston. The little Houston thing. It's a, it's a little appetizer, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, they get jacked up in uh, Florida, too. People... You know, as soon as there's a storm, Jake start robbing and looting. But Florida is used to that, though. Yeah. Texas love right here. Yeah, Miami is wild and crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of Yeah, they are. That's my normal You know everybody in the hood, nobody in the hood left. All the rich people drove up north. All the poor people, they like, man, this ain't shit. Yeah, one dude, he parked his car. His wife was like, well, if you can fit the car in the uh I don't see the leaving in there. It's just all kind of doors and woods on the front of that motherfucker. Man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Jake, though. I like that. He's a Jake, though. Only, only Jake can do that. Save his car. Yeah, appreciate it. Somebody said that lies, stuff like that. Jake, Jake. Isaiah 28 and 17. Judgment also I laid to line righteousness to the plummet, and hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overflow the hiding place. And your covenant with death shall be disallowed, and your agreement with hell shall not stand, with an overflowing scourge that pass through. Then ye shall be trodden down by it. From the time that it goeth forth, it shall, be, it shall take you. For morning by morning shall be passed over, and day by night. It shall be a vexation only to, to understand the report. The better, like a, uh, one bitch in Houston, she made a video on herself, you know, crying and shit. Like, this ain't comfortable. Pray for us. You know, yeah, it's a vexation. Yeah, they get the door, they, you know, I mean, imagine the whole city was underwater and shit. That shit would annoy That shit would vex the hell out of you. Waking well, up every day, you got the, you know, walking through the water and shit. I know they praying for the Lord to save them from the, the floods or whatever. Who the hell think flooded you? <laughs> Y'all wouldn't think, you know what I mean? It says, verse 21, Isaiah 28, 20, it's like, For the bed is shorter than a man can stretch himself on it. The heat and the covering narrow than the he can wrap himself in it. Uh, and the house shall raise up and mount the rest of the rising. He shall be brought back to the body of the other side. He shall be brought back to do his work, his strange work. He bring past his act, his strange act. Now, it's like no more. Now, therefore, be not mockers. You shall have bands be made strong. But I have heard from the Lord of hosts a consumption even determined upon the whole earth. Let's see what uh, our people, when they did with autumn flame, they stuff happened, they got praying to the most high, man. They looking for a FEMA. Red Cross. That's where they put their faith in, man. Ain't, ain't nobody down there putting their faith in that time. It's probably, it's probably a few, you know, probably a couple of you guys down there. Other than that, they ain't looking for the government to help them out, man. They ain't looking for the most high to help them out of there. You said right there, hey, long lines of 80, Caribbean islands. Yeah, they got no food in the Caribbean islands. Oh, yeah, it's been, it's been real fun. I'll be praying, look, if we got hit with the destruction, I'll be praying to the Lord, like, thank you so much. Make it a little worse, bro. 
Cause look, when, when, when this shit happens like that, when there's a flood, there's no law, there's no cops. You got this every man for himself. That's paradise to me. I don't give a fuck. I, I go get a boat or I'll make a raft, I'll float around. I'll go look for supplies, bro. Yeah. I ain't calling no FEMA. I ain't, you know what I mean? I ain't calling no government. I'm praising the Lord. I would love for Columbus to get hit with a natural disaster. That'd be beautiful. Beautiful. That shit need to be destroyed. All these buildings tumbling and crumbling. Damn, I'm going to be in Columbus at a time. Tornadoes in the 70s. I think that's the last time they had. Oh, this is most high preparing for that fire. He, well, he's not like, saving it. It would have been beautiful to watch the buildings crumble, watch a big old block of a building crack someone on their head and squish them. <laughs> Yeah, she's just blowing up. See if she get hit by a comet or a missile. Matthew 16, verse 19 through 21. Lay not up for yourself uh, treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up on yourself treasures in the heaven, where neither moth nor rust does corrupt, where thieves do not break through nor steal. You go for your treasures is there with your heart be also. Right, that's because people got their uh, priorities mix, mix, mixed up, you know what I mean? They, uh, most per people, all they care about is going to work, getting that money, stacking up money, you got you a nice car, nice house. You got all this nice stuff that you get to take to your grave with you, you know what I mean? And when, and you can't keep none of them riches. Houston, they took a picture of uh, rich people had like a, I don't know what type of car, I don't know what type of car, it's like a, it was a fancy ass the car and she was all on the back so like it just rolled. Yeah. And yeah, one day, oh, you can have riches in one day, that all could be destroyed. That, that's why if somebody walks up and try to rob you and put a pistol to your head, they be like, give me your wallet and take all your money. But they can't come up to you and be like, give me all your knowledge and your wisdom. Give me your faith. Yeah, give me, oh, yeah, give me your faith. They can't do that. They, that's something that can't be taken from you. You can't lose that. You know what I'm saying? You could put your money in gold in a bank, but but the bank could go under. You lose all your money. Yeah, what do you call that? Building? And, uh, uh, yeah. Bailout. Yeah. Did you say bailout? Yeah, bailout. Yeah. But they got a bail in. Though. I guess what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The building has been, uh, when you don't put that money, whatever, you're, this shit is in the bank, they can, they can take, it. take it. They got something called negative interest rates, too. It's a, it, you got to pay the bank to keep your money in the bank. That's negative interest rates. They say, yeah, but when you got this truth, bro, you put it in our bank, in your spiritual bank, and that's good. That, that money's good right there. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody breaking that bank and steal your riches. Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and man. Right, yeah, so you're going to see, that's why a lot of people, they're making that good money, uh, more chances, nah, they're not going to come out here teaching. If you got a lot of money and you're living good, why would you come out doing what we do? You know what I mean? Cause also, to make that good money, too, that takes time. And people to be about money, that's all they think about, is getting that, getting that money. That's all they think about all day long. I see you can't serve man. You can love one or eight the other one, man. The white man, man you gotta be set up to work. You will have to work. You will have to work, man. Fuck. Oh, you gotta work. I mean, you gotta make money. Shit. You know, you don't get to eat. <laughs> right. He says, uh, Matthew. Let's see. Matthew 20. Uh, 16. It says, One came and said unto me, so it's like to him, you master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There's none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt keep enter into the kingdom of life, it's like it, keep the commandments. He said unto him, which how shall I say thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. 
Take it the wrong way. They think if you got good, make good money, you, you can't be in the truth or whatever. That's not true. If you had uh, rich people in the Bible, like Joseph of Arimathea. Aram, uh, jo yeah, Job. Yeah, Job. Well, back in the day, all of Israel was rich. You know, that back, you went back that far. Abraham was rich. Abraham was rich, if the richest man on the planet. You know what I mean? He had big bank, bro. The, the, the Pharaoh was impressed with Abraham. Riches. Yeah. Abraham had great riches. Yeah. Like make one of the stupid simple ass and you have a stack of cuts pound on his table and yeah. shit, laying, you know, laying you sitting down on his couch and shit. This boy sitting around waiting to get their turn to suck his dick. Yeah, he walks around with a briefcase full of money. Full of money. Full of money. That's all I'm walking. I'm going to do the same shit you don't put your mouth down. Yeah, that's what he's up like this. That's crazy. I was watching some on Gorilla Monsoon yesterday. But they said, uh, they said he was like that. They said Gorilla Monsoon wouldn't leave the house without $10,000 in his pocket. He's like, damn, what you need $10,000 for? He's like, what if I want to buy something? <laughs> Just walk around with big bank on it. Right, that's how you get killed, for real. You saw the people that couple that was pretending on Facebook, broadcasting Facebook Live. Uh, they had 60 G's stacked up. It was all fake money, though. They came right to the house. They came to the house and killed, killed the bank. Never heard of it, but they just shit. It's all fake, man. <laughs> this is this week. Oh, this is Black Master. Uh, I think so. Yeah, stupid asses. Franklin, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt took everybody's gold. Yeah. They, they said they saved all that gold up just for to have the government come steal it. And if you ain't give it up, they, they, they still was going to take it. Yeah, five years in prison. But actually, there's a lot of people who buried their gold, and that was one of the reasons they, said they still had gold in here. So a lot of people were like, fuck you, you're not getting 
my dog. They buried that shit. And they run one door to door. Now this, this country done did some fucked up shit, bro. And, and these people was thinking that everything's crazy. You know what I mean? They actually went and took everybody's gold. So, so it says it says the hurricane got into it. It's compared to a war zone. Uh, Worse than Andrew. Don brings first yeah, limbs of destruction. It's a race war. It's a race war. Florida is racist as fuck. They got all them older white folks that have been established and retired. They got all kind of guns and shit. And they ain't trying to lose that shit, man. They ain't yelling down there. I forgot about yeah, that. They probably got fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and That's the spirit. You forgot about that nigga out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. nigga down there, too. That little For real? Damn. Yeah, so I hope, man. Yeah, 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 damn right. Damn right. Guy's down, guy down there too. Damn, everyone down to Florida. Yeah, thinking they're gonna escape, man. Damn. Thinking they're gonna escape. Bro, man. you thought he paid me to go to Florida. This guy, alligators and mosquitoes. I'm damn straight. Right. Most likely gonna destroy this whole fucking country. That's what they don't understand, man. This place is done. Yeah, and they said, you gotta come back again. But they said something about snakes too. Oh, 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 they got mad. Florida's a nasty place, bro. I ain't, I ain't never wanted to go. No, nah, I never wanted to go to Florida. I never wanted to go to Florida. I heard about mosquitoes, rain, and alligators. I'm good. Genetically modified mosquitoes. Yeah, they got genetically modified mosquitoes down there, too. And they say they're getting out of control. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Folly is sacred, set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low places. Oh, yeah, folly set in great dignity. Because, uh, yeah, cause man, these people that sit in the high, they got all that money, or whatever. They just some fools though. Cause real, real riches is this knowledge, man. I mean, it's good to have money. The scriptures also say money answer of all. It says wine make what is that proper something I forget. It says wine make it merry, but money answer of all things. There you go, Ecclesiastes seven and twelve. Oh, For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. Yeah. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them. Yeah, you gotta have money. I mean, you could. It, it's nice to have a little, uh, to not be stupid with your money. If you can save some money, don't go blow all your money at once, because what What could happen? You get pulled over by a cop one day, oh fuck, you need a lawyer. Yeah, something fucked up that happened to you, you know what I mean? So you got a common sense, man. But yeah, well, fuck this money at the same time. Yeah, people so dumb here, they, they like hit the lotto or something, they fucking buying these mansions, these cars. Then they be like, well, how you gonna pay for it? You know you ain't got a job after this. And they just think they got <laughs> endless money or something. Right. Like, <laughs> like them rappers. <laughs> yeah. All like, them rappers is broke. Or like, yeah, like, okay, and a good example is Allen Iverson. That's just the spirit of Jack. He wanted to be given, hook all of his friends up with money. Now he ain't got nothing. <laughs> Paper chasing. Yep. Paper chasing. He was told that one time, brother came up to us and said, get money, get money. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Get money. He said, fuck what y'all do talking about, get money. I can't remember. Curse the shit out of oh, him. Wicked piece of shit. But we hear that all the time. He's talking to whole dressing bitches. I remember he talking about it. It's been years. Two bitches just like they about to sell their pussy. Get money. Here they ride by an old ass car. You get all that money. Fuck the paint job. If you don't get to keep all that money, you gotta pay taxes. Right. If you don't pay that taxes, they ain't gonna get your money, man. All of them. Pay taxes and fake money. What is that? There's a proverb to talk about riches that can vanish quickly. Proverbs 24, maybe? I don't know. I was just reading this the other day with my sons. Right to it. <laughs> 23. Yeah, 23, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Was it no, actually, I'll, go ahead. I'm thinking something different, but go ahead. I think it's 13. Proverbs 23, 4. Labor not to be rich, cease from thy old wisdom. Why? Just like a build thou set thine eyes upon that which is not. For riches certainly make themselves wings that fly away as the eagle for heaven. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, the rich is. Uh, Man, they fly. You could have money one day, like, like your next day, the government could just take your shit. They, they can say you owe taxes. Then they come and just take everything you got. Yeah, it's like they can just, they rob you. Just take the fuck. Because you got some money. Everybody knows when you die, you ain't taking none of that with you. So what? So what good is it? It's good for nothing. You know what I mean? Because that, the real riches is knowledge. 
And you know, people, they don't want to be friends with people who got good material riches. If you got all that money and stuff, man, you got all kind of friends. But if you got all the knowledge and all the wisdom, ain't nobody fucking with you like that. Then they go mess with you. If I, this guy knows his history real good. Now he, he's got all the friends. Now he got two friends. You know what I mean? And like the history expert got no friends. And, yeah, if you a master of mathematics, you're going to have no friends. You're going to be the weird out. Yeah, you a weirdo. You said you got knowledge now, y'all. Oh, you a fucking weirdo. But this guy, he got this guy that can't read and write. But he got, you know, he got some money. He, he, he's, he's a good guy. Y'all niggas evil. Y'all niggas evil. You got Satan right there. I see Satan everywhere. Oh, what's up? Yeah. That's Asmodeus. Little <laughs> bigger. <laughs> What's going on, man? You ain't got no crowd today? We don't need no crowd. We got you. Scripture said my other word don't go out void. Yeah, it don't go out void. Uh, he about to talk shit and he going to run away. We saw you, we saw you uh, making a leap with him, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we saw you making a covenant with him, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Nobody always doing something to your eyes. But you were. No. Oh, people. They're not my friends. Yeah, he's like, I'm not my friends. They're not my friends. You took the side with, with a Muslim. You sided with a Muslim right. over us. Call yourself a Bible. Call yourself a Christian. Well, it's scoffers. Right. That's right. a bloody enemy, right. man. Right. He's over there joining. Huh? We know that. We know that. See, we know the truth, though. We know the truth. We know 100% truth. So what, what we know the mysteries, got, the secrets. What else you got? What else you got? If you don't yeah. repent, you're going to be destroyed. Definitely right about that. Proverbs 13 and 13. We got a whole lot of repent to do. We got a whole lot of repent to do, man. Here, we ain't come out here threatening nobody. Or teaching falsehood to nobody, but you came up against us. You did you join. You come up against us. You did join the forces right. with the scoffers. It's your bling, man. It's your bling. Nah, I'll tell That's you a right. hypocrite. It's bling and God. It's like God. It's bling. He's shining. He's waxing fat. <laughs> My man. My man, I can't wait to personally see you burn. Hey, let's get that, let's get that Daniel going. Daniel 12. Because you, I, 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 you guaranteed not to make it. You're guaranteed not to make it. You know? Get that Daniel 12. Daniel 12 and 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall wake. Some to everlasting life. Oh, how does some of the dust awake? Reincarnation. They don't want to believe that, but read it. What does it say? How do you awaken from the dust? Check this out. Uh, some, it's like it. Uh, many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall.